Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you what it's like during a storm in Texas. Today we have a thunderstorm, so clouds roll in, they're very dark, and the rain is very hard. So is the wind, everything's bigger in Texas really. Given all the storms in Texas, I highly recommend you get the AccuWeather app because it tells you about all the severe weather alerts. No, this is not a sponsorship, this is just my personal experience that I want to share with you because it really saves my car and house on a couple of occasions. As with thunderstorms, what I typically do is unplug high value electronics from the wall because surge protectors cannot protect if there's a million volts flowing through. Here's a view from the front of my house. These clouds may appear bright to you, but they're so dark that it looks like 6 p.m. and it's only 12 p.m. right now. So during this storm, there was some heavy rain, well, quite a lot of heavy rain. So if you notice here, my pool is filled all the way up to the top and in some cases overflowing onto the concrete. And at the front of the house, this gives you an idea of how strong the rains are and how strong the wind is also. You can see the rain going down at like a 30 degree angle and going down the street in waves. And we're getting some lightning and thunder as well, you can hear that too. I have a covered front porch and yet I can feel the rain coming on me. Given the rain is coming down at an angle, here's what one of my windows looks like. It looks like a heavy stream of water, kind of like if you take a sprayer hose and then just spray the side as if you're cleaning it. And at some point, it may sound like someone's flailing rocks at your window. That is hail. Here's another example of heavy winds pushing my tree branches back and forth. And lastly, a view of the backyard, again with the rains and the drainage and all that other stuff going on. So the impact of the rain on my house is typically in the backyard. I can see it here at the pool where the water goes all the way up to the top here. So somehow need to drain this and then of course need to shock the pool and fill it up with chlorine so this cloudy green stuff turns back into the nice blue that the pool should be. And typically after rainstorms it's nice to check the drainage around your house to see if there's anything that needs to be addressed. I see some pooling of water here so we've got to find a way to drain some of that. As part of living in Texas, it is beneficial to you to have gutters because you absolutely must keep the water from pooling around your foundation that is bad. Now that the storm has passed, much of the darker gray clouds are gone and of course making way for the brighter white clouds. So after all those thunderstorm notifications go away, it probably is a good time to plug your surge protector back in, which powers all of your valuable electronics. And for those new to Texas, the end of April and going into May, you'll see a lot of thunderstorms and temperatures in the mid to high 80s. And in between those storms, you'll have some nice days where there's a lot of sun out, and you get a very nice view of a bright blue sky. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and hope to see you next video. Bye.